Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. This little tip is DSing on a budget. Why do I say that? Well, there's some wonderful DSing plugins out there, which are absolutely stupendously, amazingly wonderful. However, I have noticed that, frankly, the best way of DSing is to go in there and clip gain or gain down or volume automate down all of the S's. So this is an old school technique which does that super quickly. So stay tuned and we will show you how to do that. So on our last video about side chaining snares, there was a couple of people commenting also how you can do that as a DSer. And that is a great trick. And I watched Pete Thorne's rather wonderful video, check it out with Bob Clear Mountain last week, where Bob showed on a console he was doing the same trick we're going to demonstrate now. He's using a separate channel on a console. We are going to duplicate the vocal and we're going to create the most straightforward DSing trick, which will save you having to buy really expensive DSing plugins. Because frankly, all we want to do when we DS is turn it down. There's very complex plugins there which source out the exact frequency and then that's fantastic. However, most of the time when I hear a S that takes my head off, it's just too loud. So I can sit there and draw an automation, I can clip gain it down, I can gain it down, whatever your DAW allows you to do. But this simple trick will save you a lot of time and it has some other advantages which we'll demonstrate. So this lead vocal already has some DSing on it. Let's have a listen to it in the track, first of all. And it's effective. As you can see, I've got one here at about 3K. And I've got a second one at 5.7K. And both of them are working pretty hard. Let's have a look at the first one here. For it's the darkness that hurts the most. And it's the lonely. And you can see that one is catching the sort of lower high mids, if you like, of the S's and the T's. And then the second one is getting a little bit of the higher ones. For it's the darkness that hurts the most. And but the other reason why I use DSs on vocals is not necessarily only to get rid of the S's, the aggressive ones, but also to control the overall feel of the vocal, meaning I can boost high end, make it feel really super airy, and then just use a DSer to just control that so it's really even and it's giving me a great high end on the vocal the whole time. The reality is, is like I have found through years of doing this, <laughs> Quite frankly, the best way to control the S's is to turn them down. It's as simple as that. So in Pro Tools or whatever your DAW is, you can go in and just simply turn them down. And it's the lonely that she... Like that is completely out of control. That she... That she... Automate it down or in Pro Tools you can use Clip Gain and I can just turn it down like this. I can then go and select the region a little bit more detail and now I've got and it's the lonely that shields my bone. but with any sets of compression and stuff that can come back up again so what do we do well here is a nice little trick I was reminded of this one because of Bob clear mountain Bob has a video that he did with Pete Thorne about a week or two really good video and he talked about one channel on his console which was just for the DSing and this is an old trick that has been around for absolutely decades and many of you may already know this let's try it out so we're going to take the vocal and duplicate it now this would be exactly the same thing as putting the vocal molting it through a second channel so now there'd be two vocals on the channel instead we have two vocals in our session we don't need any of these plugins on at all. You're going to see why. So I'm going to take this vocal. Have a listen. And it's the lonely that she... We don't need that clip gain done either. So I'm just going to highlight this area. If you want even more, we could pinpoint where the S's are really aggressive. 
I'm going to open up a four band EQ and I'm going to give it a listen. That chill, that chill. I mean, 5K, that chill, chill. It's, it's abrasive. That chill, that chill. It's probably about 5.5K. So if I go in there, about 5.5. Five, and I make this cue really, really tight and then gain it up. That chill, that chill, that chill. So that's part of the story. Now I'm gaining that up. But also, if I go, I can high pass it all the way up until that point. So now, nothing below 5.5K. And we could do the opposite. I can then a low pass right up to that point as well. So now we're only highlighting that area. Now, let's go to our vocal that we just duplicated, that we have the plugin on, and just send it to a dead output. So 21, where it's not going anywhere. So now... When I press play, absolutely nothing. Let's get a compressor. And again, we can just use an R comp again, which is a Renaissance compressor. Now what we do is we key from that output there. So 21. And we're going to listen to that vocal. That chill, that chill, that chill. So it's just simply turning down where that S is at its loudest. So if I put the attack at its fastest time, that chill. but it's release at the fastest time, that chill, that chill, that chill, that chill. I mean, it's doing everything we want it to do. So now in about you know, without me talking in about 30 seconds of doing two different things, just selecting the EQ, getting rid of all the highs and all the lows around it. So just taking the most offensive frequency and then using that as a sidechain function to a compressor, I am now turning down those S's. So it's saving me all of that time. I'm putting it at the end of the chain so I can compress and EQ the vocal just the way I want to hear it and then have this automated Volume control, just turning down the S's. And it's the lonely that chills my bones. It's the scars. That so it's getting that really bad S here. And it's the lonely that chills my bones. It's the got that S there, which none of the none of the DS's were catching. <laughs> which is huge because 5.5k is probably one of the most painful areas and now we're turning it down where it's at its loudest it's the it's there as well the turning that down it's the scars that hide the truth the t there on the truth Really, really simple process. So we duplicated the vocal, we went in there, we took the frequencies, and we selected the area where they are at the loudest and most painful to hear, and then sent that to a compressor with a side chain on it, which in this instance was 21, and now the compressor is only compressing when those high frequencies push into the compressor. It's a pretty miraculous thing. But what's better still about that is this vocal has a ton of harmonies which also have DSs on them. So let's have a listen to those two harmonies going on. And it's the lonely that chills my bones. Same problem. It's like... <laughs> so on the beginning of the chain of all of these effects and everything we have going on, we can go in and grab another R comp, use 21 again, take that same area. And it's the lonely that chills In context here. And it's the lonely that 
that shields my Because there's a lot of very expensive, fancy, incredible DSs, and they're so great, and they're all so wonderful. But the reality is when it comes to an S taking your head off, all you really want to do is just turn it down. And for many, many years, we have sat there and gone through the vocal, and it can only take a few minutes to go through and turn it down. However, this is even simpler too. Just a great, great tool. Like I said, I was reminded of it. There was a couple of great comments on the last video, but I was reminded of it predominantly because of Pete Thorne's video just over a week ago with Bob Clearmountain, and he was talking about using it on one channel where he was using it to DS by just boosting the frequencies and then sidechain compressing it. Just a really simple trick used by some of the greatest minds out there. You don't get much better than Bob Clearmountain. So thank you ever so much for watching. Please let us know, is there any secret DSing tips that you have? I love this kind of stuff because it's really simple, really straightforward, and does a great job. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. Speak to you all again very, very soon. Thank you ever so much for being such an incredible part of our community. It's been a lot of fun interacting with you all, and I look forward to seeing what your ideas are going to be below. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, adios. Mm -hmm.